Hi there, Janet here from craftsandcollage.com and I received a nice letter from a lady named Wanda a couple days ago. Thank you Wanda for writing me. Um, she wanted to have another look at my doodle um, journal. I haven't added anything to it really but I'm happy to show an updated quick flip through. Um, please remember that all of these doodles are based on a neurodivergent a tendency um, ADHD and autism run in my family and uh, these kinds of doodles and so on can be very, be very peace inducing and dopamine inducing uh, these ones at the front are just Sally the Seer crystal balls that I draw just different crystal balls and I write this way and this way so that anybody looking at this page wouldn't know what it says, but I do. Now, th this is where they start the doodles, the pen and ink. And you can turn the page any way you want. But to be honest with you, I start oftentimes with an eye. Just a simple eye, and it kind of builds from there. And you'll find, especially if you, if you do have something like ADHD, that you'll take and blend the corners and add dots to soften the tips and things like that. That's the kind of thing that it can bring out, especially in doodles of different, like this is not all the same pattern like a Zentangle, this is just a, a doodle. <laughs> and here's another one, same thing. Just um, sometimes you get detailed and sometimes you don't. I don't know what those stripes across my screen are. And uh, so these kinds of pen and ink doodling, you make them as long as you want or as quick as you want. Um, and they're, they're yours to play with. That's what your sketchbooks are for. This one, I don't know why I really love this one. I kind of ended up <laughs> really loving this one. <coughs> and then there's color doodles like this. I love working on black paper. I actually order black paper to have in the house. And then these are the ones where I take um, uh, watercolor paint and I just put it on the page. I lay it down with a brush or splash it or whatever. And then I draw black lines separating all the different shades. And then I doodle around that and in it. And yeah, I don't know if you can see, like I said, my lighting is so terrible. But I'll often have an eye or something like that in a lot of my doodles. This I think started off almost guitarish. I'm not sure. But I love doodling these kinds of things if I'm in the mood. Now these I love because again they're the paint laid on the page and then you draw around the different shades or colors. And you can do anything with them that you want. I like actually using them as background for different um, uh, things on my Etsy and stuff like that. And these are just some watercolor pages. And there's another one very, very colorful. I enjoy doing these. They bring me peace, a sense of contentment. And that's it in that book. Now, um, and I thank you very much for asking to see it. I appreciate that. So, what I'm doing or what I'm suggesting is that most Octobers, I join in on Inktober. Now, Inktober.com is a, a site that started, I believe, in 2016 for artists who wanted artists, people, doodlers, it doesn't matter, people who just want to try doing a sketch a day for the month of October. Or you can do a sketch a week for the year. Either way is fine. Inktober.com provides the list of prompts, 30 prompts. Uh, now, or 31. Now, um, what I do is each year I write them down, all the different years, like this, different years and so on. I write them all down and I keep them and I don't always get them done. Some years I haven't even been able to start, but the one year that I completed was uh, 2018. And this is all 2018's prompts and days. There's 31 of them. 
Uh, and I went from back to front because I was going to fill with the next year at the front and so on. Don't ask me why. I don't know why I started from the back and came forward. But I've started recently to do the list that was put out for uh, 2017 because I had to, I had a lot going on that fall. But I did the Swift and the Talaria is the um, the sandals of Hermes, one of the, the gods of uh, swiftness. And then there's um, Divided. The prompt is Divided. And this one is Poison I was doodling. <laughs> and this one is Underwater. And so I've started this list as well. And I'm doing that as a side thing to fill these few pages that are left in this book after having filled it much of the way this way. So, what I'm doing, which you may want to join me because it's August 1st today. So, I got one of the old lists, um, 2020, which was, of course, a really weird year for most of us. <coughs> um, and so, I've decided I'm going to do the list for 2020, the prompt list. All these lists are available on Inktober.com and I'm going to do this year's Inktober. I'm absolutely determined because I've done it a couple of years back to front, you know, first day, uh, October 1st to October 31st and stuff. I usually give it a kind of a Halloween theme sort of thing or fall theme. But this year I'm starting August 1st and I've already done the first one is fish. So I did give it actually a Halloween type theme again. There you go. So I'm going to keep going with this list, one drawing a day, just for the fun of it, a doodle, a drawing. I usually don't add color unless it's a touch of watercolor like I did in those few. And I'm just going to work my way through Inktober's 2020 list. I don't want to waste these wonderful prompt lists. So if you're interested in playing along, you'll find the Inktober 2020 on their site, inktober.com, uh, and um, you can play along if you want. Just pick a list, pick any year. They're all fun, and play along with me. August 1st, let's go day by day, and because I've been missing drawing. I haven't been doing a lot of drawing lately, and I've been missing it tremendously. So this is usually the way I get kick-started. Nice new journal lots of wonderful fresh pages and I'm just gonna keep doing prompt lists. This is going to be a prompt a prompt sketchbook for me. So and please keep in mind that your sketchbooks are simply places you get to play. No one has to see them or judge them or anything like that. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm gonna leave it at that and I will be doing a a collage couple of pages in my uh, fun converted textbook but that is about doodling please enjoy have fun do zen tangles do doodles do do um watercolors with doodles draw 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 to your heart's content just let your pa pen flow just just let it go and let it do its thing and um it releases all kinds of wonderful endorphins and it drops a lot of dopamine for those of us that are are slightly divergent. I wish you all a wonderful week ahead.